Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites. We come here week in and week out to prophesy the dawn of America. Before we get started, we just want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shad. And double honors to the Apostle of Great Millstone. And say uh, peace and blessings to the uh, Akim that's pushing this truth in Syria all across the earth. You know? Like I said, yeah, we come to uh, prophesy the downfall of America, man. You know, uh, America's pretty much on its way out. Pretty much, it's, it's done anyway, you know. Um, this, uh, this, uh, Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians 10 and, uh, 10 and 3. Con, I got you, bro. This is, uh, Second Corinthians. Somebody tell me to do right there. Black, yeah. But they're eternal. We can't be too close to the turn. 10 and 3. It says, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You know what I mean? They, uh, you know what I mean? People always want to fight all the time. You know what I mean? Like, this ain't about fighting. You know what I mean? God, God, right. It's not about being carnal. Being carnal. Right, because it said the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, man. Our weapons, we come from the scriptures, man. You know, you know they the Lord's weapons. That's right. Actually, we're the Lord's weapons, man. You know, we're not, we not out here, you know what I'm saying, to try to, you know what I'm saying, be, be on some, some nigga stuff, man. You know, we, we trying to do, we out here doing the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Let the Lord use us as His weapons, man. And those weapons are not carnal, man. They, they spiritual, man. He says, but mighty through the power to the pulling down of strongholds. To the, they're, they're, might, they're mighty to the most high, man. They're the pulling down of all strongholds. That's all these uh, these uh, these uh, false doctrines out here, man. All these vain uh, philosophies, you know. That's what we out here to do. We out here to pull down all strongholds and imaginations, man. Slaki, it goes into that in verse five. It says, casting down imaginations. See, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. You know, and that's that's how the way this world is, man. They are all up all the wrong things, man, against the most high. So they they they, they, they are all up lies, man. You know, and, and got our people partaking in it. But we, we, we our job is to, to to pull that to pull those lies down, man, with the truth, man. The truth of the heavenly father, man. What did he say? Somebody get that for me, uh where he says, um he said, uh uh uh, uh let every man be a lie. But the but the uh, the but, but the word of the most high, the truth. Something like that. I'm, I know I'm messing it up, but he could one of you brothers pull that up. I'm going to finish reading um, this up, verse 5 for edification. He said, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. You know, that's the, like I said, those lies, man, that exalt itself against the Most High. That's America, man, Babylon, man. It exalts itself up against the Most High, man. You know, it's trying to, the, the so called white man, the devil, he trying to become come over him with his lies, man. He got our people lost in confusion, man. They lost in the sauce. Drunk off Babylon juice. And our job is to wake them up, the 12 tribes of Israel. Mainly the elect. And he said, uh, hold on, Salak. And he said, he said, and bringing into captivity, captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. And that, again, like, that's that's that, that's what we're doing, man. Bringing everything into obedience. A uh, 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 Mashiach, man. Go ahead, bro, with your precept. Oh, let this brother pull up his precept, bro. Ephesians uh, 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High. That that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. See, and how you gonna put on the whole, and how you gonna put on the armor of the Most High, man? How? How do you do that, man? You you do it by uh, um, reading and studying, fasting and praying, man. 
Because when you build up in the word, man, that that be your that's your weapons right there, man, and your armor, man. It's your defense and your offense. Go ahead, read, bro. This is a. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Slack it, bro. Let him finish. Oh, Put. Put uh, Slack it. Uh, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world. Come. On. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, man. There's things in high places that set up against us, man. You know, let's start with the lies, man. The so-called white man putting himself up is this right here. Is this image right here? Chess Ray Bush. That's the lie, right? That this is the thing that we up against right now in this group of people, man. These lies, man. These are the things that must must be cast down, man. That's how that's how they was able to uh, uh, pretty much uh, control you, you know, by putting that putting that image up. Because when like the little ones see it, the first thing you, uh, they gonna say is, "Oh look, Jesus," which that's not who that is, man. That's you know what I'm saying. Uh, Caesar Borgia. Uh, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You know what I mean? There are those that are uh, called. Uh, Know, called the elite, you know, they, they control everything in the world, you know what I mean, they, they have uh, meetings and stuff, they go to, uh, you know, they have a meeting called the summit, uh, yeah. they, they go uh, to a high, a high, uh, a high monument, you know what I mean, and they have these, these meetings over there. Yeah, actually, uh, you're talking about the UN? Kind of. Where, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the day, in, in the uh, evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about the about with truth. And what's that evil day? What's that evil day talking about? It's talking about the time. It's talking about the day of the martial of martial law, man. Martial law troops come to get you, man. Put you in those uh those concentration camps, man. You know, it's, it, it, that's that's the day of uh the day of reckoning, man. The day of uh choice. Taking that chip, man. That RFID chip. Go ahead, read. Having your loins girt about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness. See the breastplate of having that, having your girt, your girts. Uh, um, uh, 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 read that again. So like it, bro. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breast, the breastplate of righteousness. Having on the breast, the breastplate of righteousness, man. And that, and that, the breastplate of righteousness, man, is just word, man. It's knowledge. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the only thing you can do, man. It's like it. Go ahead, read. Okay. Uh, so you know what I mean? Uh, you know, like whatever, whatever uh, goes on in America. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Something happens before it just comes out first. You know what I mean? They they have meetings to uh, you know to keep our people in derision. You know what I mean? To keep them uh, lost in confusion. Right. You know what I mean? Like they, you know what I mean? Like they can't come on out with a uh, gay marriage laws and stuff like that. You know what I mean? That goes through them first, and then it comes to us. You know what I mean? Like how they had the, uh, you know, like the gay flag colors on the, uh, the White House building. They yeah. put that up there for people to see on purpose, man, because they want to push a gay vibration out there. Con, yeah. You're talking about the rainbow, right? Yeah. Kind. You won't. You won't be able. The person that ain't grounded in the truth won't be able to stand against. You know they devices like that. You know what I mean? You gotta have. You gotta have this in you to overcome all the wickedness that goes on in this world, man. Yeah. Vegas is supposed to be put to death according to the scriptures, That's man. That's right. That's right, brother. That's right. Can, I, can I say something real quick? Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, and about what the brother just said, uh, the whole gay thing with the rainbow. That's the Most Highs. You know, like the scriptures say, uh, they turn evil for good and good for evil. The Lord established the rainbow between the covenant with the world that He was destroying with water no more. You know, so you, you they took they took uh, a representation 
a memorial, a monument that the Most High gave to us and turned it into evil, like the scripture said. Both of them that turn good for evil and evil for good. They framed Michigan by law, pretty much, you know what I mean? Saying that's it's okay for a uh, man to marry man, which that's totally going off against the Most High. And to prove that too, to back that up, brother, I got a scripture. I got a scripture too, out. Go ahead, pull yours up first, out. This is a uh, book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame mischief by law? You know, pretty much saying, you know, should, should the children, which are who? Israelites, have fellowship with, you know what I mean, the laws that's, that are in this country? No. You know, who, 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 uh, who opposed these laws? The wicked. By, uh, yeah, I got this. This something in Leviticus. This is a uh, that's an abomination. Um, homosexuality. This is Leviticus chapter twenty, verse thirteen. It says, "If a man also lie down, suck it. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They should surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them." See, the most high not with that, man. That's an abomination. Right, Two man. men to be laying down, man, like a man would lay down with a woman, man. All that shit is wicked, man. Yeah. That's why this place needs to be destroyed, man. That's right. You know, I, man, if you, don't, if you don't hate what's going on in America, man, man, your ass needs to be destroyed, man. You need to be, you need to be burnt the fuck up, man. Hey, can you get Amos 9 and 8? You got something up? And that uh, war abomination, uh, we, uh, what did that mean? We, uh, looking that up right now. Yeah. Um, uh, abomination, a disgusting thing. Uh, uh, unclean. See, that shit, that, you know, let man lying with man, that's. You know what I'm saying? It's an unclean thing. And not only that, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't uh, create life, you know? Uh, you know it's not, yeah, no pro, it's not pro, procreation behind that, man. You know, you can't get nothing out of being a faggot, man. But death, man. That's right. That, that's all you can get out of being a homosexual, man. It's fucking death, man. That's whether you a man or a woman trying to be, rather what they call it, lesbian, homosexual, man. And you know, you know when, when we uh, you know when we tell people that they're going off by being gay, you know what I mean? They get they get cut inside. You know what I mean? Because it hurts. It hurts to be told the truth. That's why nobody want to come out here and listen to us. God, yeah. Because they know they gonna get uh, you know, they know they know they ain't gonna feel right being around us, man. They want to hear smooth things all the time. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, Hebrews uh, four and twelve for the for the word. Of the Most High is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of souls and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You know what I mean? Uh, that goes for everybody, man. That goes for the other nations. That goes for our people as well. People be getting cut right by here all the time. Looking at us. Yeah. Looking at our signs, saying, you know what I mean? You know, that's why we got people that want to come by and uh, throw things at us. You know what I mean? We got people want to come by and shout things, but only they're just condemning themselves, man. Uh, I got to push something. Go ahead, pull it up. This bro. is uh, This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. They say, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves. Hold on, stop. You say no effeminates, right? Go ahead, read that again uh, from the top. Yeah, yeah. start to forget from the top. All right, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Be not deceived, man. The unrighteousness, the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of the Most High, man. 
Because why? They walk contrary to the Most High, man. They're not in the will of the Most High. That's why they call the unrighteous. Right. Go ahead, read. It says, be not deceived, neither fornicators nor idolaters. Stop. Be not deceived. You know, this this mainly for you stupid ass people that's in the church, man, who who think that they can keep on um, sinning against the Most High all during the week, except on Sunday, and then they go to church and then they pray, ask uh, um, Jesus, Lord Jesus, to forgive them for their sin, man. You right. people are are fucking deceived, man. People, we time. People, fornicators. Nor idolaters, nor adulterers, neither fornicators, or, or what, read? Nor adulterers, nor adulterers, you weak ass niggas, man.